charging from the psychedelic vibrations of the blues with goose at number 59 on wjrd's playlist we're up to number 58 some searing soul the searing vocals of freddie scott at number 58 doing cry to me the solomon brook record cry to me yes fantastic version but only his version only got as high as number 70 though freddie scott mr soul man is uh that was the follow-up to a huge soul hit he did back in early 67 and tbc played the hell out of this it was uh are you lonely for me baby yes sweet soul music produced by burt burns burt burns now let's go back a little bit oh cry to me burt burns mr soul Burt Russell, a.k.a. Burt Burns, he wrote Cry to Me. He also wrote Hang on Sloopy and Twist and Shout. The guy was a straight-up R&B dude. He died in 1967, 68, Burt Burns did. <laughs> now, the first guy who recorded, as far as I know, was Solomon Brook. And Solomon Brook's version of Cry to Me was produced by Burt Burns. Now, here's the thing. Even though uh, later, later, Solomon Brook, Solomon Brook said, yes, Burt Burns is a brilliant songwriter brilliant songwriter he turned down a couple of songs that Burt Burns offered to him including Hang On Sloopy which the McCoys later did and uh, Solomon Burke also turned down another Burt Burns composition A Little Bit of Soap which was done by the Jarmels and then finally Cry to Me Burt Burns offered, offered Solomon Burke Cry to Me he sang it real slow for him and, well, somewhat reluctantly, Solomon Brook picked it up and decided to record Cry to Me. His version went to number 44 in 1962. And now, Solomon Brook's version of Cry to Me, it was recorded uh, on December the 6th, 6, 1961, if you want to know the exact date. Been covered by Be Betty Harris. The Rolling Stones also covered, did a version of it. A group called The Pretty Things from Britain also covered, a, covered uh, Cry to Me. But then we got this version by, oh my goodness, I don't think anybody remembers this. Brady Scott's version of Cry to Me, and this is about as soulful as you can get. Number 70, that said on Billboard's Hot 100, but doing a little bit better on WJRD's uh, playlist the week of March 25th, 1967, at number 58.